Stylish Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. If you are new to my channel, you are highly and very welcome. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to draft on this gown. So you can see the picture here. It's just like a plain and pattern uh, gown. It was actually draped with an Ankara on the side. So I'm just going to be showing you how to achieve that with your pattern paper. Because a gown like this, you actually need to draw to, to make it out on your pattern paper before you cut on your actual fabric or else you won't be able to get it and perfectly well you're going to waste your fabric so that's just basically so that is why you need this strap so it will help you to cut on your actual fabric so i just want to say that our uh, online classes for september is on the registration is on so if you are interested in that class so all you have to do is just contact me on the whatsapp number i'm dropping a number on the description box so you just contact me so i'll give you uh, the course outline and then you know what next to do so that is that so uh this dress is actually an a-line gown so i have my pattern paper folded into two i'm going to be doing a basic uh, online um sorry <laughs> i'm going to be doing a basic um a-line gown so it's an a-line gown so i'm going to be doing a basic um uh, a-line um, gown block here first before we continue so what i'm going what i have here i have some lines already laid out so the first line that i have here is my shoulder line so this is my shoulder line just like the startup line and then the next line that i have is my bust line and then the other line is my waist line and then what the, the other one is my hip line so and then the full length of the gown so i'm just going to show you the measurement the first one the bust line from the shoulder to the bust line is 10 inches so you could see that it's 10 inches so and um, from the shoulder to the hip line is 15 and sorry to the waistline is 15 and half and then from the shoulder to my hip line is 23 inches and then the full length of the gown is actually 36 inches so i'm going to show you how to achieve this now for beginners that don't know the first measurement which is the shoulder line measurement i'm going to be dividing into two so shoulder measurement you divide into two so my shoulder measurement is 14 inches so when i divide into two i actually have seven inches so this is like my seven inches and then i'll add 1.5 inches as my allowance so from this uh, allowance line i'm just going to come down by eight inches so this eight inches is going to serve as my as my um armhole line which i'm still going to be using as my as my chest line so I'm just going to I'm just going to mark it like this. So I'm going to mark it out like this. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to um put in my armhole measurement. So for the front armhole, I'm just going to come here by half an inch so that's for my armhole so the next thing I'm going to do now I'm going to measure out and the bust measurement and the bust measurement like I said I said you divide into four so when I divide mine into four I have nine inches which is 36 and then I added 1.5 inches allowance to it so the waist and measurement for this since it is an A-line gown you it, it, it is not fitted so on fold what I what I'm going to be using on fold I'm going to be making use of 12 inches and then I'll add allowance to it I'll add 1.5 inches allowance and then the hip line because you don't really need the hip measurement so i'm on fold i'm going to be making use of 15 inches plus one inch allowance so and then i'll check it down from that point since it is an a-line i'll check it down so the down part of my of my pattern paper what i have here is 16 inches so i'm going to be connecting my measurements now so from this point now i'm just going to come so like basically the only part that is really um small on this dress is just like um, the, the bust Part, that's this part so from this point I'm just using uh, my pattern paper like this so I just want you to see what I'm going to be doing so this is how 
you actually um, block out uh, your your a line dress so i'm just going to use uh, my curves now and then i'll use my ruler because it's not uh, really straight so i use my long ruler I'm just trying to get out a straight and sharp and curve from it so what i actually did before was a little bit curvy so i don't want that so i'm just going to use so i just use that curve as a guide for you so this is an a line so you can see this side is wide why this side is uh, small so i'm just going to cut that out the back and the front, we are going to be cutting the back and the front the same. But the drape is not going to be on the front. The drape is just for the back. The drape is not going to be for the back. It's going to be for the front alone. So you can see our airline dress. So you see it. It's looking like what we have on that on the picture. So you could see it. So I'm just going to fold it back and then cut out on the neck line now. So for the neckline, I'm going to make use of three inches width. That's for the neckline. I'll make use of three inches. And then the depth that I'm going to come, you could see that the neckline is a little bit high. So I'm going to make use of two inches. That's the depth of 2.5. You could do 2.5 and it's around a neckline. So I'm just going to so I'm going to use um I'm going to drop on the shoulder line by one inch so this will serve as a shoulder slope for me so that uh, my the neck and the shoulder part is not going to be high so that's just like basically the essence so I'm going to cut out now So I'm going to slant this part. So we're done with that. So the next thing we're going to do now, I'm going to start the draping. So in doing the drape, I'm going to open up uh, my gown like this. So I'll open up the gown like this. So I'm just going to, to clear some of these things here. And I'll have room. So I'm going to mark the center and front. Although I'm not going to be making use of it, I'm just going to I just want to use it as reference so that I will know that this is the middle. So that's why I'm just marking it out like this. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to measure my chest line. So remember, I told you this line that I measured here initially was eight inches, which is like standard for chest line. So I'm just going to rule it because I'm going to be using it also. So this is now my chest line. So this is bust line, waist line, hip line, and then bust line. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm just going to um, use my eyes and to check how much and uh, cut I want to slash out of this. So because it is from the slash that I what I'll cut out, that is what I'm going to do. That's what I'm actually going to use. So I'm just going to come to this point now which is uh, like my armhole point so so our um, our chest line so i'm going to come and um, from my armhole line so you could decide to measure out from the armhole line or you could just decide to go up from your chest line you could decide to go up one inch or 1.5 or two inch so it, it depends on what you want so i'm going to to do uh, 1.5 inch upward that's from the chest line so i'm going to do one 1.5 inch upward and then i'm going to just mark it out from the armhole line like this i'm going to mark it out from the armhole line like this so i came up and by one inch maybe my camera did not capture that i came in by 1.5 inch that's from the chest line 1.5 inch and then i just marked made a, a line here like this because that's what i'm going to be using right so and the next thing i'm going to be doing now I'm going to be uh, cutting out uh, 
how much and fabric, how much and pattern paper I want to tape out, take out that I'm going to replace with uh, the Ankara and fabric. So like I said, I came up and buy 1.5 inch. So from this point now, I'm just going to uh, come. I'm just going to come just and be, be just beside uh, the the what do you call it? This is the center line. So this is like my center line. So I'm just going to to make a, a mark which i'm going to be i'm going to i'm actually going to curve it out but i just want to use square first to to indicate it so i'm just going to come to this point and then before i get to the my center line i'm going to stop one inch so you could decide depends on what you want so you could decide to 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 continue you could decide to to come further inside and this way then from this uh, line now from this point now which I stop one in. So I'm just going to be making a slant from this point now. I'm going to be making a slant down to this point. But before I make the slant, because I'm still going to be covering up that part. But before I make the slant, I'm going to measure how um, the part of my um, fabric, that's the plain part of my fabric that I want to leave. So I'm going to use 8 inches. So you could actually use your eyes to just uh, check it out before you, you cut. Before you cut it out. So I'm going to use 8 inches for this. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to use um, my straight ruler. I'm still going to curve it, but I'm just going to use my straight long ruler so that I want to because I want to achieve that uh, straight, that straight and um, straightness on it. So if you feel um before you cut, you make sure you check it out. If you feel that um if you feel that it's not wide enough, like I said, you could um, change it. So I'm just going to. So I'm just going to do this. So I've cut, uh, cut out how much I want to cut out. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use uh, my curve here. I'm going to use uh, my curve because I want to curve out on this part. I want it and uh, curve. So I'm just going to curve. So I already have my curve here, but I'm not really satisfied with the curve because it's looking a little bit straight. So when you have a situation like this, all you have to do is you just come down. So you could. I'm just going to come down by one inch, and then because I want, I just want to. I, I just want to get a very round uh, curve on top of this point. So I'm just going to come down like this, and then I'm going to curve it to join this line. So this. It's not like if there's any standard, so you just use your eye to check it out before you do it. So that's the beauty of um, drafting on pattern papers before you cut on your actual fabric. So you could do whatever you want to do before you actually cut your actual fabric. So guys, so this is the line that I'm using now, this one. So I think I, I like the curve that I have now. So I'm just going to curve it out properly. So I'm going to cut it out now to this point. So guys, so you can see it now. So I've cut it out. So I'm going to be replacing this part now. I'm going to be replacing it. How to achieve and that drip on it? Okay, guys. So um, before I start on uh, the drip on the front and um, part, I just um want to show you how to achieve the back and um, part of this and um, dress. So all you have to do is you take and uh, the front piece and then you place on your pattern paper. You just leave a uh, two inches allowance or one point five inch inches allowance on this side as if you want to add a zipper to it but since it's an a-line dress i don't think there is any need for allowance so you just take and um, for zip the zipper allowance so you just take your pattern paper like this and then you place on another um paper or on top of your fabric and then you you just cut out the back and portion just exactly like this so that's that the, the back does not have that drip on it so it's only the front so now i'm going to be showing you how to do the front and part so I'm just going to keep on my pattern paper now and then bring another paper. So in a 
achieving and do that drape on that Ankara part. I'm just going to open up um, my original piece now, so I'll take this side out now that I'm already cut out. So I'm just going to take it out like this, and then I'm going to take uh, this part up a bit. I'm just going to tape it and pin it and just um, secure it and to my to the bigger and um, pattern paper that I have because I'm going to be making some explanations for you. And then this, this is the other um, piece that I cut out. So what I'm going to do in, in, in making and this in achieving this kind of drape like this, because you, are, you cannot uh, cut it out like this, and I don't want to use uh, the flay method because if I use the flay method, that means you have to pleat on this side. But if you see from the picture that I showed you that this side does not have any pleats, it's just exactly it's just the down part that has some volume on it. So in achieving that, what uh, you will do, you after stretch and uh, spreading out your pattern paper like this, you come and to this end, and I'm I'm just going to pleat this down part. At the end of the day, this um, pleat is not going to be applicable. I'm, I'm just trying to get a um, volume on the down part. So that's just the essence. That's why I just want to pleat. So you can see my pleat is not getting to the top part. So I'm just going to pleat here just to get um, that um, volume on this down part of my of the dress so that's just the essence as i'm pleating out i'm going to try to achieve and that's a triangle v on the the down part so i think i uh, what i have here is okay so i'm just going to unsecure it like this at the end of the day i'm still going to open it up I'm still going to open it up so this side is, is straight so you can see it does not have any and the upper part does not have any volume then I'm going to take on this piece like this I'm going to place it like this because I'm trying to to get on this up part it has to be the same it's just and from this down part that is where you have the drop so what I'm going to do I'm just going to tape tape it and together like this I'm going to tape it down Side is the same so you, on the down part you have and the fullness there so what i'm going to do now i'm going to use uh, my ruler i'm just going to use my ruler before then before i use my ruler i'm just going to show you how to do this so since you already have this cup lined out all you have to do i'm just going to separate it this part this original part i'm just going to be recreating it like this so you could see what i'm doing i'm just going to get out on this part from uh, my pattern paper I'm going to get it out straight straight out like this on my paper because I need uh, the exact um, uh, length that I need this exact um, width that's the edges what I mean the edges has to be the same so I'm just going to take it to this point so when I get to this down part that's the down part I'm going to stop because this side is going to be the same with the drape and part so I'll get it up to this point like this so I'm going to stop like this. So I'm still going. I'm still going to be referencing this one because I'm going to because I need on the side and the armhole side. I need them to be the same. So when I'm done, when you are cutting on your fabric, that is when you add your allowance. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try to create that triangle on the down part. And in creating the triangle, I'm just going to take on my pattern, my ruler like this, and then depends on how long you want it to be. So for this, I'm going to be making use of like 8 inches. It's okay, 8 inches and drop. And it's going to be slanted. It's not going to be straight as in, it's just like, um, it's, it's slanting. So as it's coming, it's just going to be coming like this. And then it's going to come and it's going to be on this side. So I'm just going to use my um, long ruler to indicate that for you. So it's just going to be coming like this. So that sharp um, V that you have down there. This is how I'm just going to be uh, trying to achieve it. So before I cut out on my pattern paper, I'm going to, to really mark it out first. So you see what I have. So when I get to this point like this, I'm going to curve it so it meets with this one. So you see what I have now. I'm just going to cut it. So 
So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it out. And then before I cut out this side, on this side, I'm going to maintain on this side also. I'm going to get out this side, making sure. So I'm just going to shift this a bit because I need to, I need to get on this and slant like this to the down to the hemline of the dress to achieve and that and drop on it. So it's going to be like this. And then the side, the side is going to be the same also. So I'm just going to cut along on the line. I'll cut along the line. So I'm going to cut this side and then cut on this side. So I so I've, I've cut it out. So I'm just going to open it up for you now to see. So you understand uh, what, what I was trying to say. I'll take out some of the tape that I use in securing it down. So this, this is the down part now. So I'm going to open it up. So when you open it up, so you see the volume that I was talking about. So you have that uh, nice and uh, volume here. So I'm just going to take this and then tape it back together like this. I'm just trying to secure it so you guys so you could see so this is the, the front and um, parts now so you have that drop so um the next thing that I'm going to say to you so this side is entirely straight that's this side the, that's the original piece is straight and joining to this um, other piece is straight together that is on the same line so as it's just going down so that's where you'll be having the slant so if you actually want yours to to drop more so you could decide to do more you could decide to add a more length to it you know this one i used an uh, eight so you could decide to use like 10 or 12 so it depends on how long you want it to be so that's that so the next thing that was done to the dress is just on the sleeve the sleeve and it's just a regular and short and uh, sleeve so i have the video on my channel so you could uh, check it out so that's that so this is the drop so because uh this is a um, paper that is why it is a uh, it is like this but if it's an, an actual fabric so when you connect the front and the back together when you connect the front and the back together so you have and the drop like this on on it you have the, the drop because on the back when you connect so that this volume that i was trying to explain to you so you get it on the dress and meanwhile this upper part is just and straight it does not have any pleats on it so guys this is how you achieve and this drip on this uh plain and pattern and dress so guys i have now come to the end of this illustration if you find it helpful please uh hit on the like and button to make me know you appreciate it uh on it to make me know you appreciate and what i did with these videos please and uh, you could also share it with your friends share it on your sewing group for others to learn so don't be stingy just share the video so that others could learn share with your friends so i have now come to the end of this um illustration huh? so thank you so much i'll see you in my next um, video god bless you mm -hmm.